I have a new nickname for Dumaghetti, Dramaghetti, and it's not Filipinos, it's foreigners. And I have a story to tell you of the latest thing that just happened. Stick around and I'll tell you. All right, so Dramaghetti, that is my new nickname for the city. Now, I love Dumaghetti, don't get me wrong, and you would think, as often as we talk about Filipinos, they love the gossip and blah, blah, blah. Um, really, like I've said before, you will have far less problems with Filipinos than you ever will have with other foreigners. Hence the reason why I say I like to live in locations that don't have a ton of Filipinos. Now, I live here in uh, Dumaguete because I met my girl here, and I've since decided I do like Dumaguete, but what I've done is I've moved outside of Dumaguete. I kind of live in the outskirts. I really just kind of go out and go into town and do the things that I need to do. But for the most part, I spend my time outside of Dumaguete other than when I go to meet people for a coffee or whatever. Now, the latest thing that happened, and for some reason this seems to happen, I don't want to say often, not things to this exact nature, but a lot of things happen with foreigners in Dumaguete, more so than any city that I've ever been in. Now, I have heard that uh, Angeles and Subic Bay, they have their fair share of incidents too, but the latest thing, and I'm not going to do any name drops or nothing like that, but I will put a link to the article in the description and also in the pinned comment. So the latest thing is uh, apparently there is uh, there was a guy who got into some kind of uh, argument with another foreigner in, in a bar. I guess the whole thing started off in a bar beforehand. And, uh, and I think there was some bad blood between the two before. There was some heated exchanges before as well. And I guess one, of, oh, the one, one guy had insulted the guy's wife or something. So apparently they found out where he lives or they knew where he lives. I don't know. But uh, one, uh, one American, one Canadian, and two British went to this American's house. He was a former Marine. At the crime scene, they found two pair of brass knuckles and a, uh, a handgun. And apparently uh, the handgun had, uh, was shot, fired one round, and I think the Canadian took off from the scene and said, I don't want any part of this. And that left the, Brit the two British and the one American, and they broke into the guy's house with brass knuckles and a handgun found at the scene. So uh, I think the initial charge was attempted murder. Uh, the one guy who took off at the beginning, the fourth guy, was let off. The other three are out on bail. But this former Marine ended up kicking the shit out of all three of them. Even posed with a photo, you'll see it in the. You can read the article. Um, even posed with one of the one of the uh, guys that he just kicked the shit out of afterwards. So again, uh, those three guys they were picked up by the police. They were taken into custody and pending criminal charges. Now the video of the heated exchange at a bar beforehand uh, shows a. a you know, uh, a very upset, angry, belligerent, drunk guy. Um, and they probably were all drunk. So alcohol was definitely a factor in this. Now, again, I'm not choosing sides or anything, but I don't really care what was said about somebody's wife or, or anything uh, to go to a guy's house, break in with a handgun and brass knuckles, you know, over words. You know, that uh, is a whole different level. And this is not the first time that things like this happen in Dumaguete, or my new nickname, Dramaguete. It seems to happen more often than not uh, that there's these uh, incidents that happen with foreigners here. And guess what's at the center of most of these incidents? Bars and alcohol. Do I like to have a drink like anybody else? Absolutely. I love to go and have a margarita once in a while. I'm not big into beer. I've never really liked the taste of it, except for when I was in the army station in Germany. Now, that's a whole new level of beer. Um, when I came back to the USA, I could never drink an American beer again. I was spoiled. But 
I'm more of a, uh, you know, I'll, maybe I'll do a shot. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll have a margarita, um, a mojito, things like that. I'm not really big into, into drinking anyway, to be honest. And my and myself, we are happy to be away from bars. Um, even one time, Maya and I, I think when we first met Phil, I think it was the first week I was dating Maya, I just went to the bathroom, came back, and there's a drunk Russian guy trying to pick up on Maya. And, uh, you know, I got into it with him. No, no blows or anything were exchanged, but security stepped in, and apparently they've had problems with this guy before, and they, they took him out of the, uh, out of the bar. And that is one of the reasons why I don't really um, get involved or, or I don't really go out to bars and stuff. I, I just don't want to be involved. And I tell you what, you go out to bars where there's a lot of Filipinos and you don't really see these arguments too much. Not like this. It's the foreigners that have the high, uh, high tempers and the quick to uh, overreact and you know and i i don't know what our problem is i'll be honest um now i shouldn't say that because the majority of us for, of us foreigners just want to come here and live a quiet life a better life less expensive uh, warm weather year-round and, and a nice loving filipina to come home to and not a, a nagging blah 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 you know uh, western woman and so for the most part most of us really are like me and, and my friends and, and other people that we don't really, we don't go out to bars, we don't look for trouble, we just want a quiet life, enjoy life here in the Philippines. But there are the uh, guys who come out here, they probably were bar flies back in the US or Canada or Australia or the England, wherever, and they come over here and they continue their ways. And who do they have problems with? They don't really have problems with other, with Filipinos. They have problems with other foreigners. And uh, I was looking at the comment section of the Facebook, and and I'll be honest, some Filipinos are like, you know, blacklist these guys, deport them. Um, how is it that they can get out, they can go to a guy's house with a gun, fire off a shot, brass knuckles, break into his house, and be out on bail like the next day or the same day? Money talks, right? And uh, so, you know. In the Philippines, if you got money, and and I saw a lot of the Filipinos commenting saying, if this was a Filipino, you know, they'd still be in, in jail right now. And so, is is there a double standard? Maybe, um, or is it just the fact that money money can buy freedom here, especially in the Philippines? So we'll see what happens with the the whole case. Um, I don't really know any of these guys personally. I I know of a couple of them, but I don't have any. Uh, direct interaction. I've never had any direct interaction with any of them. But um, interesting because it, these stories just pop up. You know, so if you want to avoid trouble, guess what? Avoid the places where all the foreigners go. And again, you might think, well, Gio, you're, you're in Dumaguete with all the foreigners. Well, yes, I am. Um, I do like Dumaguete. There are good places where, because, you know, when, when you go to a city in the Philippines and there's a lot of foreigners, well, then you get um, you get stores where you get imported goods, catering towards Westerners. I, I have a favorite store in Dumaguete called Belchris where I can get deli meats and cheeses and yogurts and imported stuff from the U.S. and Italy. And, uh, you know, I, I can get all these things. Why? Because this is a foreigner town. There's a lot of foreigners here. Uh, I can go get a good hamburger. I can get a steak. I can get things that I wouldn't normally, I couldn't normally get if I go, if I went and lived in the province somewhere. But here in Dramagete, I can get those things because there's a big population of foreigners, so they cater. I can find better housing. A lot of housing here is built by other Westerners, Westerners who have bought property with their wife and decided to make a little apartment complex to make money off of rent. And guess what? They bring with them a little bit of a higher standard on building. So you can get, you know, things like that. So, yeah, there's a pluses and negatives with living in a city where there's a lot more foreigners. The pluses, you get all these things I just mentioned. The negative, you get a lot of the drama and the, you know, the bad reputations. I think a lot of, uh, a lot of times the Filipinos just aren't impressed with the foreigners in, in Dumaguete anymore. They don't even they don't even do a double take. Like you, for example, you go to Mindanao and you might see 
uh, Filipinas, you know, doing double takes when you walk by. Why? Because uh, they still have this, uh, uh, they have a different opinion of foreigners than they would do like in Angeles or Subic Bay or, uh, or Dumaguete because they are so used to us. And guess what? We're building a bad reputation. And I don't actually, I shouldn't say we because uh, I'm not. But uh, you, you get that few select foreigners that are ruining it for the rest of us. And, um, you know, so anytime I see an article like that, I make a comment. But uh, anyway, guys, this is another rainy, horrible day here in Dumaguete. It has just been raining so much here. And uh, by the way, if you guys want to help support my channel and you want additional videos and information, you can sign up with a YouTube membership by hitting the join button down below or my Patreon for even more videos and more benefits like free t-shirts, coffee cups, and consultations. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.